Rachel and today I'm back with another video. Now you might be able to guess that we are doing a what's in my bag today and I know I only just did one last week but the what's in my bag that I did last week which was with my Pom Pom London is my everyday bag with my essentials in that I just carry every day for school run or a quick nip to the shop or whatever. But if I'm going somewhere for instance I took Paige to go and see the Circus Mondeo the other day. It's amazing by the way if it comes to your town and you get the chance to go I highly recommend it. It was brilliant uh, but if I'm doing something like that or if I'm going for a show with Alison or if I'm going shopping uptown I'm gonna need a bigger bag and this is the bag that I use for that so because I've just used this bag when I took Paige to the Circus Mondeo the other day and it is fully loaded with all sorts of rubbish um, that I took with me and also that I ended up stuffing in it for the day I thought that I would show you what's in my bag of my sort of other everyday bag but my bigger bag so my bigger bag that I use at the moment for this purpose is this one from River Island I just think it's absolutely gorgeous it's like a tote style bag my unicorn bag as you guys know is the Mark Jacobs tote bag the mini one in the tan size I would die if I got that bag I would love it so much uh, but unfortunately it's more than a little bit out of my price range um, so yeah I thought I would go for some kind of high street alternative now I know that this isn't exactly like that one for starters it's more of a pleather rather than a uh, grainy leather I know it's not real leather but you know the Marc Jacob ones is I presume it is isn't it, it will be real leather it's like a grainy one you know a pebbled one which is my favorite kind of leather but this is the high street one that I saw and I really really liked it so the size of it what can I sort of compare it with I mean you can see my hands it is quite big you can still carry it as a crossbody which I do sometimes um, but yeah, it's quite bigger than my Pom Pom London one. So, it's a little bit scratched up as well. Now, I've not had it for too long. I've maybe had it for three or four months. And I don't use it every day. But you can see we do have some scuffs on here. Do they come out? Um, hmm. Maybe a little bit. That one's not going to come out, I don't do. But anyway, I love it. I absolutely love it. So that is the front of it. The back of it is similar, but it's just got no uh, no writing on it. And then these are the sides. It's going to open up really, really wide. I was a big fan of the gold hardware. I thought that that looked cute. It does have sort of a charmy situation on the side here. There's a gold bar. There is a River Island key and there is a River Island lock there as well, which I thought was quite nice. And it does come with a crossbody strap, but the crossbody strap has to fit onto these two. Oops, sorry, I was off the camera. The crossbody strap does have to fit onto these two hoops here. Now, I'm much more of a to the side sort of girl. I would prefer it if the strap to the crossbody was here and here. It just sits better on the body for me, I think. However, when I've got this bag, I'm not crossbodying it too often. Only if I'm absolutely desperate and I have to. Usually just carrying this on the crook of my arm. So it opens up really, really wide. It's just a popper situation. You can get an absolute ton of stuff in here. My friend that I went with, um, Sophie, she had her little baby with her. So she had a baby bag full of stuff. She had her daughter with with her. they had sweets and stuff and I was just bunging all sorts of stuff in here so we'll push it to the side and we'll see what I have got I have got a right random mix of stuff but we'll put it here so this is what I used the other night I have not um put anything back in it it's missing my keys normally when I do what's in my bags I put my keys back in and I put my phone back in but I forgot and also it's just a sort of dump in situation there is a little pocket here to the side I'm not sure if that's going to pick up on camera, but this here is a pocket that's at the side. You're not going to get too much in there, I don't think. Uh, but for the most part, with this bag, its purpose is I'm just going to dump everything in. Now, on the day that we went to the circus, I did have some snacks and some water bottles in here as well. They're all gone because I put them in the bin at the circus, but everything else that's in here, and I'm sure there's still a bit of rubbish in here, um, yeah, it's, it's how I used it on the day. So, first of all... I have got my change purse. You've seen this before. It's the same as the one that I carry around in my crossbody bag. It is from Primark, I think. I've had it a long time. It opens up nice and wide, and I do keep my change and my notes in there if I have any. Today, I do. The next thing that I have got in here is my glasses case. I do have some prescription sunglasses. These particular ones are quite new. I've had them two or three months, and they're Ray-Bans. I'm really upset because the case has broken a bit. So from pulling it, like, that I don't particularly do it very hard but the little thing has can you see 
I might take it back to the optician's guy and see if he can get me another one. Uh, but these are my sunglasses. I absolutely love them. I don't know what model they are, but they are Ray-Bans. They are, let's say anywhere, RB4378, if anybody likes those, and I do. I absolutely love them. I adore them. I wear them all the time. I was a big fan of using fashion sunglasses. I can't anymore because of my eyesight. I need to have a prescription pair. And I thought that just having one pair of sunglasses would really annoy me because last year I had like 10 from all different shops. They're all cheap ones, New Look, Bow Avenue, Primark. But actually, I love them so much that I don't mind that I've just got one pair. But that's not to say that I won't buy another. Next up in here, I have got a liquid lipstick. This one is from Nabla. I bought it from Beauty Bay and it's in the shade Closer. These types of mauvey pinks are my jam. I have a thousand lipsticks in various different shades of this. And Chris is like, do you need another lipstick? And then I'll do this on my hand with them all and there's slight variations of like, they're all the same. And I'm like, they're not the same. And if you say that again, we're going to fall out. So that's that one that I was wearing at the circus. Then I've got this, which is my little Starbucks purse. And this is the one that I keep all of my cards in and my little trolley uh, token. That is one that my beautiful friend Alison brought me back from Seattle. And she brought it back from the first ever Starbucks that was built. So I do love to have that with me. Next up, I've got my trusty wet brush. We've chatted about this before. I get mine from TK Maxx. They're normally about $3.99. The bigger ones maybe $4.99 and I love it. I have really thin hair. My mum used to always say when I was younger that it was like rat's tails. Thanks, mum. Um, and Paige is a little bit the same, to be honest. It's very thin. It tangles really easily and it hurts when you brush. But this brush it definitely gets the tuggies out Um nice and sort of gently doesn't hurt as much and this particular one is a gorgeous glittery one which i love and i just have a bobble on the side there that's probably going to be for Paige, not for me i don't tend to tie my hair up too much when i go out um i don't tie it up too much in the house either actually next up i have got some travel sickness for Paige. these are the quells kids ones and she takes them pretty much all the time when we go out anywhere in the car anywhere more than 10 minutes and yeah it's game over she's exactly the same as me and jensen's the same as well we're a bit of a car sicky travel family it's quite annoying actually chris never used to be and he's starting to get like that a bit as well but these are really affordable they're like three four pound from the chemist and they work a treat she needs half a tablet each time um i think it's half a tablet every eight hours so usually it's just one half for the day and it lasts enough really recommend them and then usually i do have the quells grown-ups ones as well but when i went to the chemist on the day of going to the circus they didn't actually have those ones so i had to pick up these ones which are for me these are studgeron 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 <laughs> how are we saying that um, and these particular ones, you have to take two tablets two hours before you travel, one further tablet every eight hours as required. Now, you can actually use these for kids as well, it says on the packet there. Um, I use them on the day of the circus and they work just as well as the Quells ones, so I'm happy with those. I do sometimes carry those around with me in my bag, just in case I end up going somewhere that I didn't know that I was going and I need them. Oh, next up I've got my Shop and Scan clicker. This actually isn't mine, this is my stepdad's. So they are part of the Shop and Scan um, panel as well. So basically when you go shopping, you scan your shopping and then you upload it to the internet and it sends the consumer information to Shop and Scan or Nielsen panel, I think it is, and then you get rewards at the end of the year. So it's points that translate into vouchers. And I have this with me because just as I was going out the house to go to the circus the other day, uh, Stephen pulled up and he was like, I need to give you my clicker because they don't have a laptop, so I upload it for them. And I was like, I'm going out, we'll chuck it in my bag. So we chucked it in the bag and it's still in there from the other day. Next up, I have got my Soap and Glory perfume. It's just a roll on. We talked about this in the last one that I did. It is my favourite, favourite scent. Oh, I love it so much. Somebody commented on my last video when I showed this, saying that because they'd seen this, they went into the shop and smelled it, and it was amazing. Smell it. Go and smell it, honestly. It's my favourite high street scent ever. It's gorgeous. Next up, I have got... What is this? Oh, my Tesco's club card. It's just in the bottom of the bag because... I'm a cheapskate and when we go to the cinema or we go to the circus or we go to a show or anything I don't buy snacks, sweets and drinks in the place because they know how to charge so I will go to usually hopefully somewhere cheaper like a B&M's or a Home Bargains or something like that uh, but the only place that we could find this particular date was a Tesco so my club card was out because I was using that there. Next up I have got... 
I've got a game of Dobble, which is the current McDonald's game that you get in the Happy Meal, because we took the girls for a Happy Meal before we went to the circus, and I just threw that in my bag because patient want to carry it around. I have got a little thing to wipe glasses with, which I don't need because I have one in my sunglasses. I've got some Mentos fruit sweets that were left over from the circus. She didn't have them because she had something else. I have got another lipstick which I love. This one is from Revolution and this is Ballerina. This is a bullet lipstick. And I mean, do you see what <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? You know when someone says like you can copy my homework but don't copy it exact? That's what my entire lipstick collection is like. Next up I have got, oh I have got the uh, the good luck little charm that I've got. I have got, everything's got hair on it. I've got a pocket bag, this is a life is sweet one, it's in my little holder. I think it's the same one that was in my other bag. A lot of this stuff is going to be the same because I just tip one handbag to the other when I can. Do you know what I mean? Then we have got, oh we have got some raffle tickets, we bought some raffle tickets at the circus. It was three for a pound and so I bought two pounds worth which was six and I gave three strips to Paige and three strips to Mariah, neither of us won. And then Paige's bracelet is in here, which I need to give her back. So when we met up with her friend Marai on Tuesday, she was just back from holiday um, in Turkey and she'd bought her this little bracelet back. And I've just realised that Paige has pulled it. It needs pulling back in, but it'll fix. So that's from Marai. That was to Paige. Next up, I have got a lip balm and another hair. Blimey. This one is my favourite lip balm from Pixie, I believe it's called Peach Pout. It's not really got much colour in it at all, but it is very, very moisturising. It's lovely and I have it everywhere I go. I also have with me a nail file, just because you never know when you might need a nail file. The next thing I've got in here is another lip product. I've got this Lip Rehab Nourishing Lip Mask and this one is from Barry M. Now this is not one that I wear all the time because it's a bit gooey on your lips. Um, but like on the way home in the car when I know that I'm going home and I'm not going anywhere else I will just put it on or something like that because liquid lipsticks for me they are my favourite because they are definitely long lasting but they dry your lips out something rotten so I do like to make sure that I keep my lips hydrated as much as possible and then I think we're getting to the end this might be the last thing we have got some horse soothers just because I'm still suffering with a bit of a crazy throat from when I think I might have had COVID and I think oh one more thing but apart from that that is it I have got my rose quartz little crystal that I carry everywhere with me so that's it I think that is everything that is in my bag so you can see that I got much more in it than I did in my Pom Pom London one there's a few things that I need to sort out and to uh, put in the bin but yeah I thought you might like to see my bigger everyday bag that I use when I'm going somewhere a bit more special but for now that's going to be it from me for today if you like this video if you can give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe I love you forever and I'll see you soon bye